G'day, how's it going? My name's Ruby and you're tuned in to a BTN News Update for Friday the 3rd of May. First up, a few politicians found it a bit tough to get into work today because of this. We are two weeks out from the federal election and young people all around Australia have been reminding politicians that tackling climate change is one of the things that they care about. Thousands of kids set up protests outside the offices of politicians like Tony Abbott, Anthony Albanese and the Prime Minister Scott Morrison. I'm here to you know, take action for what's going on in this world and what's going to happen if we're not going to do something about it. I'm one of the kids of the future and I want to have a safe um, climate when I'm a grown up. There were a few adults there too. Even the Greens leader Richard Di Natale turned up. If this is ringing some bells for you, these protest events have happened before and young people say they're going to keep happening till pollies take action. We want climate action and we're not going to wait 12 years until we can't do anything. We need it now. We're continuing to protest no matter what government gets in until all our demands are met. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you can now experience the wizarding world in augmented reality. The creators of the insanely popular AR game Pokemon Go have just released a new one called Wizards Unite. And just like Pokemon Go, this game uses the camera in your phone to make magic things happen in the real world. Pokemon Go was one of the first super popular AR games, and at its peak it had tens of millions of daily players, and it made more than 200 million bucks in its first month of release. That's a world record for a mobile game. Wizards Unite is still in the beta stage, which means it's being tested for bugs and glitches. But lucky us, it's only available for download in Australia and New Zealand right now. Today, the actor Peter Mayhew died. You might not recognise his name, but I'm guessing you would recognise his costume. He played the role of Chewbacca in Star Wars, in the original 1970s trilogy and in some of the recent films as well. In amongst the thousands of tributes posted online, Peter's co-star Mike Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker, said Peter had been a loyal friend with a really big heart. It looks like pop star Joe Jonas and actress Sophie Turner have tied the knot and it's kind of taken everyone by surprise. The couple was engaged, but they didn't have any public plans for their wedding. But Snapchats posted by a whole bunch of celebrities show them apparently being married by a Las Vegas Elvis impersonator after the Billboard Music Awards. Tacky or brilliant? I think a little of column A and a little of column B. And this is a pretty crazy story. A guy named Ben, who lives in Taiwan, fell asleep with a pair of AirPods in his ears. But when he woke up, he could only find one of them. He could hear the other one beeping, and he looked around for it, couldn't find it anywhere, and then discovered that he had swallowed it and it was in his stomach. The next day, the AirPod exited his body, yes, in exactly the way you're imagining, and believe it or not, it was still fully intact and still worked. Amazing. And that's all the news I've got for you, Cool Cats, today. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll be back with more on Monday. Ciao.